My name is Joe Saul. I'm an adoptee, a psychotherapist, and the author of Adoption Healing, A Path to Recovery. Last century, at my very first adoption support group meeting, the first thing I learned about was gratitude. I was so terrified before I went to that meeting that I literally hid in a doorway across the street and waited for someone who looked safe. A pleasant looking woman approached the entrance and I quickly went across the street and walked in behind her. It turned out that she was, as far as I know, the first natural mom with whom I ever spoke. The meeting began and the feisty group leader stood up, introduced herself, and started by asking us to raise our hands if we were grateful. More than half of us put our hands up, and the leader said, Why? Why should any of us adoptees be grateful? A few spoke up, saying they owed it to their adoptive parents for taking them in. A few said they were grateful to be adopted. Most were silent. The leader just suggested that we owe nothing for being raised. It was the obligation of our adoptive parents to raise us, give us everything they possibly could to ensure that we were healthy, safe, well-fed, educated, clothed, etc. She said that all children deserve these things and their parents owe it to them. Their parents may not be able to give it, but they do owe it. It is one of the jobs of parenting. In fact, she went on, our adoptive parents should be grateful to us for giving them the chance to raise a child. Gratitude feeds the belief that we need to be people pleasers. Gratitude keeps us subservient to others, keeps us enslaved. How do we change our built-in belief to be grateful? Well, first we need to believe intellectually that gratitude is not appropriate. Being appreciative for our parents going above and beyond the basics is appropriate, but gratitude is not. Second, we need to tell our inner child that she does not need to be grateful and that she will not be punished if she is not grateful. We need to keep telling her this until she believes it 100%. Third, we need to throw the word out. Put the G word with special, chosen, and lucky, and with the R word, rejection. They all belong in the trash can. Now, enjoy the freedom from the need for gratitude.